This is a quick overview of how I program the Auburn DSPR 320. And the first step really is to decide what you want your program to be. Uh, I'm going to try running this uh, completely automated throughout my mesh. And this is a good example because today I'm doing a Dunkelweizen or a Dunkel's vice, which is going to have a lot of different mesh steps. So um, the first thing that I do, I hope you can see this, um, is write out my plan. So I'm going to go 107 for the strike water, 105 for a quick acid rest, and then as it ramps up to the protein rest for 15 minutes, 147 for 30, and 160 for 30. So that's what my recipe plan is. And then I also write out what the, the program steps are going to look like. So I got 107 uh, as the strike temp, and the time is hold because I don't want it to advance until I get over there and do something. So once once I get to 107, I'm going to hit the run button to continue on to the next program. And that's when I'm going to do in. And that's going to hold uh, 105 for one minute. It's probably better to just program this for like five minutes though because it's going to take some time to actually stir the grain in i don't want to start heating up to like the 112 so quite so quickly so you know all right i'm going to change this actually to let's change that to six minutes that's fine 112 for 15 147 for 30 and just keep in mind whenever you put a time in there when the time elapses it automatically advances to the next um program or the next set point so 112 for 15 147 for 30 160 for 30 then i do another 160 so that i could set the time to hold so when it gets to this 30 it will sound the alarm and then i'll automatically move on to this one but this one is just set to hold and that's just waiting for me to pull the bag out of the work next is i'm going to run up to 180 and set a hold and that's because uh between this phase and this phase i like to have the whirlpool running so the pump will be on at 180 i like to turn the pump off the pump generally doesn't like to pump uh, once you get hotter than 180 or 190 so 180 is just a good place to stop that's when i turn the pump off then i advance it again that next set point is to 208 for one minute that's just to get me up to near boiling at a quick rate and then it automatically advances to power mode or boil mode and that'll be 52 percent power and that'll be set for 95 minutes all right so when we get into the actual programming let's see if i can get a good view of that now the first thing is this is all of this working properly is predicated on being having uh two features uh, or a few features actually disabled on this system. So timer set point should be zero. That means that the timer will start immediately when it hits the temperature that you have set and it will turn off at the end. The next thing is I want to go into the uh, boil parameters so that's B set boil acceleration should be zero I'm not going to get into why that is but in order for this to operate properly you want that to be uh, about boil out is a hundred boil timer set point should be zero as well and then off at the end okay so now this is where we get into now first of all you want to make sure that your in mashing mode so uh, you want to see this yellow light above the word mash if you're not just click it one time and then rotate until you see mode mash and then press it okay now you're in mash mode this is your first of nine set points or your first bank of two and it has nine set points in the mashing mode so next thing we do is we get into the mash program long hold on the button go to m program click that so the first thing we said was 107 for the strike temperature so you just keep 
This is supposed to look like an M. It's a little cryptic, but that's an M. You want to set your set point as a temperature. So M is a temperature mode. 107, press, and that's going to be a hold. Next, we're going to go 105. Okay, we're going to set this for six minutes. Next is 112. That is 415. Next, we're going to go 147. That's going to be for 30 minutes. Next is 160. That's also 30 minutes. Next is 160 hold. Hold. Then 180. Also hold, 208, this is where we bring it up to a near boil, but not quite there. So we'll wait, we're going to do that for one minute. And then finally, now in mash mode, right, this is temperature, we go counterclockwise until it says BO, and now it says P, that's power. And we're going to go 52%. That just happens to be where my boil boils nicely. Your mileage will vary for sure. And then that's going to be for 95 minutes. I'm going to give myself a little extra just in case. I'm going to run the boil timer on Brewfather. So um, let's see. Yeah, so 95. I'm going to do a 90 minute boil, but that'll give me a little bit of extra just in case. And that's it. That's all nine. Um, that's all nine slots for the first bank. Now, if I had to go, if I had to go into another one more temperature set point, or maybe two, uh, then you would move into boil mode and program that bank of nine. Because at the end of the first nine in the mash mode, it advances to the boil mode if you don't already hit like an end function. So. That's pretty much how it works. And then what you do is you can click once, you go reset yes, and then hit run. And now you're going to start from step one. And as always, you can completely override the temperature set point while it's running. When you see the temperature set, you can just change it to 8, to 108. All right. So whenever that's in the display, you can override it and then click in to accept. And you can do that with time, temperature, or boil.